old postcards can be worth under $5 each, or some can be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. I've sold over 14,000 postcards on eBay over the last three years. I'm going to tell you the top 10 most valuable types of postcards you need to keep an eye out for. These can help you whether you've been reselling postcards for decades, you're just getting started, or you're thinking about dabbling in the postcards, no matter whether you're at an antique store, estate sale, thrift store, postcard show, or anywhere else that has postcards. Keep this list in mind when you're looking for postcards that have value. Now a note here, all price data and quantity sold will be based on the last three years. Sell through rate will be based on the last 90 days. And my list here is in order from the lowest average price sold over the last three years to the highest average price sold over the last three years. So let's jump right in. The number 10 top valuable postcard to keep an eye out for are hold to light postcards. The average sold price of these postcards on eBay over the last three years is $22.88. And the highest sold price is $1,900. I'm showing you that postcard right now. This was sold by SM Postcards. Check out his channel if you have it. But these hold to light postcards can be extremely valuable but they vary in range. So some that were produced of world's fairs and expositions are on the lower end of value, or if they're more generic views that aren't associated with a holiday, they're on the lower end in value. And on the higher end in value, you have those associated with Christmas and in particular Santas. So hold to light Santas are some of the most valuable hold to light postcards out there. Keep an eye out for those whenever you come across any hold to light cards, but really any hold to light cards are worth picking up and they sell very well with an average sell price of $22.88. 3,583 total have sold over the last three years and over the last 90 days, the average sell through rate is 8%. Like I said, not all of them sell for extremely good money. Keep an eye out for those Santas in particular. The number nine best selling postcard and most valuable to keep an eye out for are Halloween postcards. The average sold price for Halloween postcards is $31.01 but the highest sold price for one single Halloween postcard is $1,300. And take a look at that postcard I'm showing you now. That was the card that sold for $1,300. So keep an eye out for that one. But really any Halloween postcards at all that are older are worth picking up. And keep in mind this average number here includes all Halloween postcards. So there might be some modern ones mixed in there, but older Halloween postcards typically sell for at least around $30 to $40. And if it's a more generic view, it might be on the lower end. And if it's a cooler view, such as anthropomorphic pumpkins or kids doing something or featuring the devil. It can sell for even more. And like I said, some can sell for even thousands of dollars. So keep an eye out for Halloween postcards wherever you see old postcards. And if you can get them for a good price, pick them up right away because they're a very good uh, seller. And the average sell through rate here is 17% over the last 90 days. Over the last three years, over 40,000 Halloween postcards have sold. They're a very popular collectible and a lot of them were produced. They can be harder to find since they're such a popular collectible, but they sell very quickly and they sell in quantity. So keep an eye out for Halloween postcards. The number eight most valuable postcard to keep an eye out for is Lewis Wayne artist signed postcards. He was a very famous and now is a very collected artist at the turn of the century in the golden age of postcards. If you see any postcards that are signed Lewis Wayne, you're gonna wanna pick them up. The average sell price for those cards is $32.05 over the last three years and the highest sold price is $285. I'm gonna show you a couple Lewis Wayne cards here. So this is the card that sold for $285, but I've seen a lot of Lewis Wayne cards and this doesn't really look like what a normal Lewis Wayne card looks like. So here's another one I'm gonna show you as well. And this card also sold for a good amount, but this is more representative of the normal types of postcards that he produced and he made. So it's usually animals in particular, cats dressed up and doing things. Cats are a very popular subject interest and Lewis Wayne is a very popular artist. So his cards can have a very high value. They can sell for hundreds of dollars. And on average, the sell through price is 30 or the selling price is $32.05. Over the last three years, 1,065 Lewis Wayne cards have sold and the sell through rate is 32%. So they have a very high sell through rate. Like I said, he is a very collected artist and I don't have any other artists on this list, but some other postcard artists to keep an eye out for and look for signatures on the front or back are John Winch, Samuel Schmucker, and Samuel Schmucker did a lot of art for John Winch, so you might see a John Winch card that the art is actually done by Samuel Schmucker and Ellen Clapsaddle. Those are three more of the most collected artists and publishers of these art cards over the last 
or uh, that have been selling over the last three years. The number of seven most valuable type of postcard to keep an eye out for are any baseball related postcards. Baseball is a very popular sport and it's America's pastime. Baseball cards are some of the top selling collectible sports cards, but baseball postcards can also sell for very good money. Over the last three years, the average sold price of a baseball postcard is $35.50, but the price range can vary wildly. So there are some baseball postcards that were produced in the 1950s and 1960s that are the Hall of Fame style plaque cards. And if those aren't signed, those can only go for maybe a couple dollars. But on the other end, you have some baseball postcards that have sold for thousands of dollars. So this Babe Ruth postcard right here sold for $14,000. Now it is graded, which definitely affected and helped the value there. But baseball cards can sell or baseball postcards can sell for thousands of dollars. And it's not uncommon to see them sell for that much. Now, one important note here, the most valuable baseball postcards that I have found are at higher levels of the sport. So if it's a high school team or younger or kids playing baseball, it won't sell for as much in my experience. But if it's a semi-pro or a professional team, then those tend to sell for a lot more. Always keep an eye out for baseball postcards, stadiums, and real photo postcards in particular can sell for very good money. Now, over the last three years, 82,055 baseball postcards have sold. Again, they're very popular and the sell-through rate of baseball cards Baseball postcards has been 11%. The number six most valuable postcard to keep an eye out for are Railroad Depot real photo postcards. The average sold price of these Railroad Depot, R Railroad Depot RPPCs is $41.70. Always pick them up whenever you see them, no matter what. They're always almost gonna sell for good money at an average price of $41.70. The highest sold price of Railroad Depot RPPCs is $908. And I'm showing you that card right now. This is a Railroad Depot in California. And I have found that Western towns in general tend to sell for a lot. So think Arizona, New Mexico, California, Washington, and Oregon. If you find any real photos from smaller towns around the West Coast, they'll usually sell for really well. And Railroad Depots in particular, tend to command some of the highest money among real photo postcards. Always keep an eye out for those. 7,632 total have sold over the last three years with an average sell-through rate of 11%. Now the number five most valuable postcard to keep an eye out for are, are Titanic postcards. Now a lot of Titanic postcards were produced after the ship's disaster, but the most valuable Titanic postcards are gonna be the ones that were produced before the ship sank. And if it's uh, postmarked before the ship sank, that's even better. And you're probably talking thousands of dollars. If it was postmarked from the ship, you can probably buy a new house with that money. But always keep an eye out for any Titanic postcards, even if it's of the disaster and it was after the ship sank. They can still sell for pretty good money, probably about 50 to $100 in my experience. But the highest sold Titanic postcard I'm showing you now is $4,750 with an average sold price of $45.60 for Titanic postcards. Now keep in mind that average number includes more modern Titanic postcards too, so that might be dragging it down a little bit. If you find any Titanic postcard that's from the year 1912 or earlier, I think you can get at least $50 out of it. But over the last three years, 2,388 have sold and the average sell through rate of Titanic postcards is 10%. It's still very collected, even though the disaster happened over a hundred years ago. It's one of the most popular disasters in pop culture and it's still very collected today. So they tend to sell very quickly and for very good money. Now the number four most valuable postcard here, and you, even if you've been selling postcards for decades, you may not know about these postcards, but these, are W.E. Burgess produced postcards of views of smaller towns in Virginia. I wasn't aware of these postcards until I started researching the most valuable postcards last year, but these postcards can sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars, and you wouldn't necessarily think it at first. So the average sold price of these cards is $73.22, which is just amazing because these are almost all printed postcards and they may not look that spectacular when you first see them they can sell for really good money. So this highest price one here sold for $1,500.99. And I'm gonna show you another one here in addition to this highest price one. So this is a bridge in Buckingham, Virginia. And this is a Burgess card. And that one sold for, sorry, let me get it here. That one sold for $635. 
So even if it's not a spectacular view, that's just a bridge with nothing really going on, they can sell for hundreds of dollars and some of the better cards can even go in the thousands of dollars range. So if you ever see any smaller town postcards in Virginia, look for the publisher W.E. Burgess and make sure you get that in your title when you list that on eBay. And I would suggest putting it at auction based on how much some of these have sold for and they're still selling for good amounts even today. All of this data is recent and the sell through rate includes the last 90 days, but I'll show you the ones that sold the last three years. Now, over the last three years, 114 of these Burgess cards have sold. So they are very hard to come across. I've never found one, but if you're ever at shows, always check the Virginia box and always look for these WE Burgess postcards. A sell through rate on those is 6%. Some of these sellers might be pricing them higher or there might be some unpopular WE Burgess or more common WE Burgess cards that don't sell for as much. So while the sell through rate is not that spectacular, if you find one of these rare and uncommon WE Burgess cards, you can get maybe even thousands of dollars for those cards. And the number three most valuable postcard to keep an eye out for in 2024 are Paper Moon Real Photo Postcards. Now Paper Moon RPPCs are interesting because they were not always a really popular collecting interest. Which means if you're at postcard shows or buying from dealers that don't sell online, you may be able to get these for a very cheap price. I bought one of these at a postcard show for three or four dollars and sold it within a week for $150. So always keep an eye out for these if you can find them at a good price. They almost always sell for good money. The average sold price of these is $79.95 over the last three years, but it has really gone up over that time period. So today, I believe that average price is even higher than $79.95. Now the highest sold price, and I'm showing you that one here, was for $687. And that's just an amazing Paper Moon Real Photo Postcard. These were done, these are not too uncommon. And these were at photo studios all the time. It was a very common prop to have. So these are definitely out there. Always keep an eye out for them. 1,265 have sold over the last three years. But the average sell-through rate is only 5%. So that sell-through rate tells me that... Uh, some sellers may be pricing their Paper Moon real photos on the higher side. So if you do price it high, you might have to wait a little while or eventually come down on your price a little bit. But these are typically very quick sellers and they sell for very good money. Now, the number two most valuable postcard to keep an eye out for this year is Frank Lloyd Wright real photo postcards. So he's a famous architect that was designing buildings at the in the early 1900s and his work is very collected. So if you see any postcards that feature Frank Lloyd Wright buildings, they can go for very good money. The average sold price of these cards is over $100. That's $106.07. I'm showing you the highest sold postcard right now that sold for $850. But over the last three years, only 69 of these postcards have sold. So I didn't calculate a sell-through rate because it's a very uncommon card and a really hard type of card to find. But if you ever see any buildings that look really unique or have a unique design, make sure you look up that postcard to see if it's a Frank Lloyd Wright building. And if it is, you could get hundreds of dollars for that postcard. Now, the number one most valuable real photo postcard to keep an eye out for, or real type of postcard, or any type of postcard to keep an eye out for this year, is Jesse Tarbox Beals RPPCs. And this is number one on my list. And I actually had one of these postcards and I undersold it and lost out on almost $500 by underpricing it. So I had one of these. She produced real photos of New York, in particular Greenwich Village in New York City. I had one of these and I couldn't find any information on it at all because it was such a rare card, but I didn't know any better. This was in my first few months reselling postcards. So I listed it at auction, which was a smart thing to do, but I started the bid at $9.99 and someone messaged me immediately after I listed it and offered me $50 and I took that $50 offer because I thought, wow, that's five times what I had for my starting bid. I'm making so much money on this, $50. It's crazy that someone would pay that much for a postcard, but I've looked that up and that postcard sells for around $500. So I really missed out on that one. Don't be like me. If you see any real photos of Greenwich Village in New York City, it's probably a Jesse Tarbox Beals, especially if it's early, but look out for any real photo postcards she produced because her average sold price 
is $562.33. So hers just sells so good. This is the highest price one that I'm showing you here. And that one sold for $930. And that's just such an amazing card. But she was a very, very popular photographer and is still highly collected today. Over the last three years, only nine real photos of hers have sold. So they're very hard to find. But like I said, I found one and you can too. So keep an eye out for those. Always look for real photo postcards from Greenwich Village in New York City. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something whether you've been selling postcards for decades or you just started reselling postcards. Do you know any valuable postcards that I did not include in this list? Please let me know in the comments what I missed and I can make an update video with more, even more valuable postcards for you to keep an eye out on. Thank you so much for watching.